As you can see, I'm not wearing a Cobra's video for Cobra's jersey for this video. They don't deserve it. Um, it's twelve, like twelve or two a.m. on a school night, heading into Wednesday. This video dropped on Friday. I was not looking forward to making this video, as you can tell. And it's not because I didn't want to talk about the Cobra's loss. I'm more than happy to talk about the Cobra's loss. Look at my video. Look at my past videos. I've been doing this for three years now. Three years. I'm more than open to talk about Cobra's losses, all right? Three years. I'm more than open to talking about it. I started this channel, what? It was... I know I'm I know I'm a freshman now and I started this channel in sixth grade because that's when I got a phone. I know I'm a freshman now and I started this channel in sixth grade. I had, so I remember, I remember my first video, first ever. Uh, Great Lakes Gators winning the World Series, game four. I did a recap on that game. First ever video, right? I had a baby face, baby voice, baby everything, a, ba a tiny baby brain understanding about wiffle ball. Even even now, even looking at eleven year old Doctor Jiggles to to fourteen year old Doctor Jiggles, I'm like, pretty, I've, I covered some pretty good points in that video. If you don't know, I'm a huge hockey guy. I don't even play baseball. I play wiffle ball, volleyball, and hockey, and that's it. Right? I don't. I don't even. I watch a lot of baseball. Hell of a lot of baseball. I don't play baseball. I'm a huge hockey guy. If you don't know a YouTuber by the name of Steve Dangle on YouTube, one, one if not the most popular hockey YouTuber ever, you know, um, he has a series called LFR, which is called Leafs Fan Reaction, because his favorite team, the Maple Leafs, they play a hell of a lot of games, and he covers every single one of them. He's been doing that longer than I've been alive. He is heading into his, I believe, 16th year of LFR. I'm 14. He was my inspiration for these videos, making a video after every single Coastal Cobra series, because it just seemed a lot less daunting than a video after an 82-game hockey season and um, only six um, plus playoffs, seven, eight, nine series. It just seemed more easy that way. And also because, like, when I say I love the Coastal Cobras, I have a such a deep love. In such a deep relationship with this team that I genuinely believe, no hyperbole, that they in some way have shaped the way I live my life every day. I wake up, go to school, listen to my music, come home, and then on Fridays, every day I'm watching more football. And when it's a day that it's a Cobra's video, lots of high emotions going through. I love this team more than a lot of things. It is one of my, this organization, is one of my favorite, 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 favorite things in the world. I remember so many moments, so many moments, bro. I remember eliminating the play, uh, Predators from playoff contention in 2021. I remember going to the World Series in 20, just last year. I remember, I remember, go back, I want you, I want you guys to do a favor. Go back to my 2021 MLW Draft Expectations video. I remember calling that the Cobras were going to draft Brendan Baranowski before he got drafted. I've been with this franchise forever. And then this series. And like, I also, like, I, I kind of said everything I need to say about my love for this team. I also want to say, there is no other team I would cheer for. Not in the AO, not in the NL, and not in any other league. It is, well, obviously I watch a bunch of other leagues and I'm fans, and I'm a fan. But it is an MOW, Cobras or no one. And there's no other team I'd rather cheer for. Since I was 10 years old, a Coastal Cobras fan, now 14 years old, no other team. 10 years old. years ago and for four years we've never won a championship for the entire duration of this organization since 2016 we have never won a championship and we won't this year and i don't know if we ever will because this team 
based off this series. Now, this is going to be my main point for the video. I'm not going to bother talking about game two. I might talk about game one because we won. This video is about game three. I'm sorry, this video is about game three. And oh, oh, Dr. Jiggles, you're so pessimistic, man. It's one game. Yeah, it was a blowout, but you're going to focus on that one game? There is a huge difference, a ginormous difference between putting on a show for fans and starting someone, starting and pitching two people who have not pitched since 2020 a consistent workload in MOW when your playoff hopes are on the line. Having two, having in my opinion, one if not the greatest pitching tandem, maybe not this year, maybe not this year, but historically based on their past work in MOW. Brendan Baranowski has been atrocious on the mound. Straight up, not good, not good. Bad, bad, bad at the mound. He won Most Improved Player last year. If there is a big, if there is a um, most fell off player of the year from Most Improved, shockingly enough, too, it's Brendan Baranowski. He has been bad, 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 a thousand times bad on the mound. Just not good, and it's not going to cut it. He, Brendan Baranowski. I don't care what you guys say about this take I'm about to say. He's one of the most comp He's one, if not the most competitive guys in the league. I understand that we have guys like Grant Miller, Jordan Robles, Jimmy Norb, fucking hell, God, Brian Cratch. They, all those guys want to win. Look at Brendan Marinovsky's reactions. Not when he wins. Look when he loses. Go back to last year, especially that 2022 season. Look when, obviously, the Cobras did a lot of winning that year. But look when he loses. Look when the Cobras lose. He's pissed. Like, he's visibly the most upset player on the field. Easily. Easily the most upset player on the field. And with that being said, he has been bad, bad, bad on the mound. Sawyer Bean has been less bad. I never said good. I never said good. I never said bad either. Sawyer Bean has been less bad than Bar Brendan Baranowski. Do with that what you will. Do with that sentence I just said what you will. But he's been less bad than Brendan Baranowski. The, the cornerstone franchise player, he has been better than him. And he's 18 years old, 17 years old. But game three, I'm telling you right now, like I said, four years of Cobras fan, four years watching Wiffle Ball, three years playing it. In the entire sport of Wiffle Ball, from all that experience I have with it, I have never, ever, 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 ever been as upset as I have been watching a series than that game. I've been watching anything Wiffle Ball related than that game three. I, 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 I didn't finish. I'm, I'm on the second inning of that video. Like I said, it's Wednesday. That video dropped on Friday. I'm on, this, I'm on the second inning of that video still. I'm not watching the rest of that. I'm not watching the rest of that. I don't, I don't have to watch the rest of that. There is a difference. And I understand this is part of MLW's like, stadium series or fun or whatever it's called. And Kyle has done a great job with that. Help, with Tommy, help from Tommy and Alex. Right? And it's been fun. Great atmosphere. That Philly series, fun. Um, the, I'm sorry, Drew. There's a difference between putting on a show for fans and then um, tanking. Just tanking. I didn't think, and I, I, I didn't think tanking in MOW was a thing until I watched the series. Straight up. I didn't think tanking was a thing until I watched this series. I'm being so honest with you. Because there's not a, because every manager also plays. It's not like a GM who trades away their best players to get the first overall draft pick. It just doesn't happen. Until I watched this series. I didn't believe taking ex exists until I watched this series. There's a difference between wanting to put on a show for fans. Having Gus pitch. Having Drew Davis pitch. Which would be all fine and dandy. If we weren't, if we weren't fucking 4 and 7 heading into the series. One win ties us with the Predators. And then we face them in, in the series. We could still make the playoffs. We sweep the Predators. No, in fact, we beat them, I think. We beat them, we have a game in hand, we make the playoffs. The Predators, they have, I'm sorry, they have Ryan Kratz, the third best player in this league. They have the third best player in this league. Actually, no, they have the second best player in this league. Jimmy Norp is the best player in this league. He will always be the best player in this league for years to come as well. They have the second best player in this league. We might not beat this team. And I don't fucking care. I do not care about Sawyer Bean's iconic performance in 2022 regular season. I don't care about the AOCS where we almost lost at least four times in that series, and somehow managed to win because Brendan Baranowski was the Cy Young consensus. He's not the Cy Young consensus this 
because he fucking sucks. He's horrible this year. He's not good. He couldn't find the strike zone if he was two feet away from it. No less 16. What are we talking about, Brendan Baranowski? What are we talking about beating the Predators? There is a difference. You can tell him, like, fucking visibly upset, right? Oh, oh, how sweet it is to be a Magic fan right now. Oh, how sweet it is. I wish I had RJ Walgate. That I'm older than RJ Walgate. I am older than RJ Walgate. Also, yes, maybe, yes, maybe I am 10 inches shorter than him. I, I am a foot, I am a fucking year old, or not a year old, but I am older than RJ Walgate. He's the best, he's fucking, he's one of the best pitchers in the league. Oh, how sweet it is to be a Magic fan right now. I, I, I wish I could just be you guys. We're not, we're not winning a championship. I don't care. I don't care. Obviously, if we win a championship, I'll, you're going to see me come on this channel and crying. Because we just won a championship. You'll see me come on here crying and then eating my words from this video. If that doesn't happen, even if we lose in Game 5 of the World Series as close as it gets, I'm going to be like, see? See? See what I mean? We don't want to win. This team doesn't want to win. We don't have a will to win. If we wanted to win, which is the name of this video, Will to Win, if we had the will to win, we would have started Sawyer being in Game 3 and kept our playoff hopes alive. We obviously don't want to win. We don't want to win. We don't have... We don't have maybe we want to win when we do win. Like that walk-off in Game 1. Drew Davis sliding headfirst into home plate. We like, we like the feeling of winning, but we don't like the process it takes to get there. We don't have a will to win. We have an enjoyment of winning. And it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. When when you're the worst team in the league and you still have a chance at the World Series, it's not going to cut it. You got to hard work. You, we don't have... The, the Cobras do not have the talent to win the World Series. They don't. Is it is Sawyer being the only one trying out there? Because no one else wants to win. We don't have World win. There is a difference. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to keep saying it until... I'm going to say this till Drew Davis sees this video. There is a difference between putting on a show for fans and sinking your playoff hopes. I'm telling you right now, this video, what, 12 minutes, about to be 13? No one's watching this full video. No one, right? If one person should, it's Drew Davis. My favorite player of all time. Maybe my second favorite player of all time. The reason I fell in love with wiffle ball, watching him pitch. Not in 2023. He can't pitch. He can't. He's lost. And there's just a difference between putting on a show for fans and tanking. Straight up tanking. The will to win is not with this team, and it's not going to cut a heading into the playoffs. Bobby saved a touch and drive, and we need to pray for a Predators collapse.